In this video, we're looking at correlation hypothesis testing. So we're going to be given a product moment correlation coefficient. So that tells us whether we've got a positive or negative correlation. The product moment correlation coefficient goes between minus one, which is a strong negative correlation, up to plus one, which is a strong positive correlation, and zero in the middle means that there's no correlation. So we're going to be testing how significant a correlation of a sample is. So here we've got a question. The temperature and the number of hours of sunshine on 15 days is recorded. The product moment correlation coefficient is calculated to be 0.61. Stating your hypotheses clearly, test at the 1% significance level whether there is a positive correlation between temperature and hours of sunshine. So we're going to start with our null hypothesis, H0. And that's going to be that the, the correlation, so it actually says in the formula book that the correlation coefficient is zero. So the null hypothesis is that there is no correlation and our alternative hypothesis is going to be that there is a positive correlation which will mean it is bigger than zero so there are hypotheses and we're going to test at the one percent significance level so we've got our table from the formula book so we've got a sample of 15 so we've got a sample of 15 so we're looking at the 15 line and we're testing at the one percent significance level so our critical value so our critical value is 0 0.523 so critical value of 0 0.5923 so if our sample product moment correlation coefficient is bigger than our critical value of 0 0.5923 if it's bigger we accept the alternative hypothesis and if it's less we accept the null hypothesis so we've got 0 0.61 so it's bigger than the critical value so we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. So we can say that there is a correlation. So there is a correlation. between temperature and hours of sunshine. So there is evidence of a correlation between temperature and hours of sunshine. Okay, another question. Amy wants to find out if there's a correlation between humidity and pressure. So suggest a null and hypo alternative hypothesis for a two-tail test this time. So our null hypothesis is going to be the same, that the correlation is zero. 
but we've got a two tail test this time. So our alternative hypothesis isn't going to say it's bigger than or less than zero. It's just going to simply say it is not zero. So the alternative hypothesis is that the correlation is not zero. So then we've got a sample of 25 days. Product moment correlation coefficient of minus 0 0.35. And we want the 5% significance level. Because it's a two tail test, we're going to split that 5% up into 2.5% on each side. So we're going to be looking at 2.5%, which is this bit. We've got 25 days, so all the way down. And 25 So that's 0 0.3961. So our critical value, critical value, values even, are going to be plus or minus 0 0.3961. So, in order to reject the null hypothesis, we need a correlation coefficient of more than 0 0.3961 or less than negative 0 0.3961. So, we've got minus 0 0.35, so it's not big enough. So, minus 0 0.35 is bigger than minus 0 0.3961. So we can't reject the null hypothesis. So we're going to accept the null hypothesis. And that means there is not enough evidence. to suggest a correlation between daily maximum relative humidity and daily mean pressure. The humidity and pressure.